Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, a video today about uh, how I make my hanging baskets uh, every year. Uh, these two I bought a few years ago with, with plants already in and I'm reusing them. But as you can see they'd be really easy to make. These are made of wicky, you can buy metal ones. Um, they do say uh, put sphagnum moss in um, which would drain easily. This has got a tough plastic in, which you just need to remember to put a drainage hole in the bottom. Uh, you could use old um, compost bags, something like that, and then just staple them in, put a drainage hole in. Um, I've been out and bought some little plants. Uh, I'm just going to show you how, how I do it. I say I'm using a multi-purpose uh, compost. I generally use peat free these days but um, uh, sometimes if I can't get it I'll, I'll buy the normal general purpose compost. And I've waited, it's mid-May now. Uh, I could have done it earlier and, and kept them in the house or put them in the greenhouse if you wanted to give the plants a head start. Um, but I've left it till mid-May and the weather's nice. We, we might still get some frost so, and we might get some stormy weather, but if you do, they're, they're small enough to, to bring back in. So as you can see, I've not quite filled the, uh, the, the pots. Uh, the baskets, I mean. I have a tendency to overfill them. The plants, it's really whatever you want. You can put well, anything. Um, I've gone for a geranium to go in the middle because I like geraniums. It just gives that touch of, they always remind me of France and places like that. We've got petunias to go around the edge and then three trailing plants for each plant to trail over the sides. But as I say, you could put anything you wanted in, really, within reason, as long as it wasn't too big. Um, even heathers, ivies. Uh, but the garden centres are just filled with plants at this time of the year. So as, as long as you remember to look on the difference between trailing and, and you know, not trailing. One just filled with trailing geraniums. I've been going to do that for a few years and got around to it. Just filled with bright red trailing geraniums. That would look fantastic. These are the upright geraniums. Um, geranium pretty little, it's called. Been a long old winter, but it's uh, it's worth it when you get afternoons like this in the gap. And as I said, I put too much soil in. You probably get away with just sort of half filling the baskets to start with. And I think for me, with hanging baskets, everybody does it differently. But I, I just like the ground full. Um, of plants, you, you you sometimes get plants that um, that die anyway. So I, I always tend to go uh, more plants than less, really. And the most important thing with hanging baskets: remember to water them, remember to feed them. It's like the tomatoes we potted up last week. The whole world comes from this little basket filled with soil. So you do need to help them, and they will dry out and die very, very quickly. So that's the geraniums in. Now the petunias. I think I might have bought too many. Mm. 
There's a six. Yep, six per packet. Where the factor is, what on earth would be wrong with some kind of cardboard container? <laughs> of course, we can reuse these to grow plants of our own, but as, as a lot of gardeners will tell you, you never grow enough, you just end up with horticultural business amounts of uh, plastic pots and, and plastic seed containers. There we go, anyway, just... It's really, this is where gardening sort of taps into our own individual artistic flair. You do what you want with them. Um, I think I'm going for spreading them out so I can then get the uh, uh, spacing them out so I can then get the trailers in. Um, You kind of have to top up with soil as you as you go. So that's just about done. Um, I think it's that six petunias uh, in each in each basket. And now the um, now the trailers. This one's called Brachyscomy Fresco. Uh, pretty pink flower with a yellow centre. I've got as I think I said earlier. I've got three same to go in each one so there's a little bit of continuity the, the geraniums are the same in each basket and the trailers are the same in each basket and then the petunias they're multicolored so the next one it's called Bacopa Cabana Jumbo, and that's a blue flower. As I say, I've just spread the petunias around the edge, so they should just make a mass. Um, and then just leave three gaps uh, for these trailers to grow over. And the last one, I really like this. It has a real splash of colour. It's called Lysimarchia Numularis Gold. It, it's just what it is on the label. It's just a green foliage plant. Uh, but it's really bright, almost like a lime green. And uh, well, that, that looks really cool. So, final check, make sure it it suits your eye as it were and then the same in the other basket
I think I'm still squeezing petunias in here that I've uh, I don't think I could get all that I bought in, but I got quite a lot of what I bought in. I always would prefer to go for the absolutely crammed out hanging basket rather than one with not enough in. And the plants do die, um, but when, when they, about six weeks from now, when they reach their sort of peak growing, if it's properly crammed, it, it looks beautiful. Um, And I, I say it again, the most important thing with any baskets is a little bit of food once a week. You know, the soluble type that you buy from the garden centre, put it in your watering can. That's what I use, and uh, regular watering. Almost every day in the growing season, because there isn't a lot of soil in there. It's mostly roots. Um, so uh, once the roots dry out, the, the plants will die. So... Uh, they want watering every day in the growing season and twice a day when it's when it's ridiculously hot. And obviously if you've got the ale coming, it might be as well to at least put on the ground. Um, yeah, they're up there swinging in the wind. This little green one, sometimes they go crazy. I had one a few years ago. It ended up about four foot long. <laughs> it really did go. Okay, so we've nearly finished here, folks. Um, what I'll do now is just... You do need to fill the gaps. There aren't many, but you need to find them and fill them with soil because if you leave gaps um, and it is hot, then the heat and everything's got a direct access to the roots, which would, would again be bad for the plants. So you just have to spend a few minutes uh, going around without damaging the plants, but trying to cram as much, um, as much soil in as, as, as possible. Give them a little tap. And that's it. You could say if you started in the winter, got yourself some uh, some some second hand baskets, used plastic instead of sphagnum moss, uh, went to the supermarket, it's not sponsored by them, went to Morrison's instead of uh, a garden centre. Uh, I reckon these baskets have probably uh, cost less than £10 each. Um, in the garden centre where I go at the moment, baskets already done up are £22 um, each. Um, so you could make a substantial saving by doing it yourself and shopping around. But that's almost it for today, just to take them to the front, hang them up, water them. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did like this kind of content, if you did like this video, give it a like. Do consider subscribing to the channel. It's such slow processes, uh, progresses YouTube. Um, uh, every like and subscription and even comment um, helps. So feel free to tell me about your hanging baskets and any tips you've got for creating beautiful hanging baskets in the spring and summer but until the next time uh, i'll say cheerio and happy gardening <laughs>